Welcome to the Graybeard Chronicles podcast. Your hosts, Brian Halstead and Kevin Harkins, are two gray bearded patriots who love God, their family and friends, and their country. The gray beards are here to inspire, inform, and educate you on a myriad of topics they are passionate about. Brian and Kevin have a strong desire to share this with you to help you live your best life. Sit back and enjoy this amazing podcast as the Greybeards pass along the wisdom of the ages. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Greybeard Chronicles. I'm Brian Halstead. And I'm Kevin Harkins. And Kevin, we're here to pass along some wisdom of the ages. What the heck does that mean? We're not perfect, but we do have gray beards, and that means... We've got some significant life experience, some life lessons, and some perspectives that are worthy of passing along. Well, I think that sums it up nicely. Let's get to it. Kevin, what's going on, sir? Good evening, Bryant. You've taken us to the next level. I tell you what, man, I I didn't take myself to the next level here. I didn't do my timing right on getting this pipe ready and fired up. I'm still tamping my uh, thing here. All good. All good. Yeah, we're having a fireside chat. <laughs> yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yeah, we're constantly changing things up a little bit. That was the intention from the very beginning, right? Yes. That we were going to do it that way? Yep. Yep, we talked about it. We, uh, we brainstormed that idea, and, uh, you know, sometimes it takes a little while for things, for things to uh, come to the physical form, we'll say. Come to fruition. That's right. Yes. Well, I love it, and uh, thank you for investing and this thing can crank out some heat if we want it to it's not right now it's not cold enough but yeah here we go no we don't we don't need a whole lot of heat right now and i am i am actually quite comfortable so i'm looking forward to this you look comfortable you look relaxed (laughs) yeah can i get you a drink uh no well you've already got me got me one (laughs) cheers 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 we're we're too damn far away Uh, we're just gonna have to pretend on that one all right Maybe we'll come up with something. This is wonderful. Yeah. And here we are on the 13th of December recording. Am I supposed to say that? I just realized. I'm not sure I've ever done that before. Well. Until the actual date. You you got it now. I don't don't know if there's any rules there. We're releasing on the 15th. Yeah. 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 Merry Christmas. I think most folks know that we record on Monday nights and, you know, it's all good. All good. Yeah. So you, you doing all right? Yeah, man. I uh, I am I'm doing good. Had a uh, had a good busy weekend. Uh, our motorcycle club celebrated their their 16th anniversary. Had uh, had about 250 folks partying on Saturday night. Man. It was uh, it was outstanding. That's a had good a turnout. Time. That is yeah. a good turnout. And did you have a lot of visiting um, chapter members from other chapters? Yes. Okay. Yep. Very cool. Yep. Had a whole bunch of them here. It was a uh, it was awesome, especially since um, some of them we haven't seen for two years or more. Right. You know, because we couldn't have it last year because of there was something going on. I don't remember what it was. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to pretend I didn't remember what it was. Right. Right. Yeah. Well, very neat. Congratulations on 16 years. And you've been here since day one, right? Yes, sir. Wow. That's uh, there's, uh, probably yep. something. We're officially old enough to drive now. Yes, you are. Yep. Not old enough to drink, though. Well, <laughs> Sorry about that. Well, very good. So what are we talking about tonight? We are talking about play the hand you're dealt. Is that is that what I called it? Hey, let me look. Yep, turns out it is play, just now. That's what play you called the, it. Play, no, play, that's the, hand, the, play the card you're dealt. That's the same title you sent yeah. me. Is it play the card you're dealt? Yeah. Yeah, the reason I picked that is because for some reason lately I've been exposed to a lot of what I would call people suffering from the if onlys. Mm. Um, You know, if only I had been born into a family that had more money. If only I got into the college that I wanted to get into. If only I had taken that class. You know, if only I had more money, if only I was taller, if only I was shorter, if only I was stronger, you know, whatever right. the if only is. Right. If the queen had balls, she'd be the king. There you go. But that is not a good place to stay in mentally, um, psychologically, because what are you doing? Playing the victim. Right. You're just making right. excuses for why you can't get shit done. That's right. 
And so I, there had just been enough around, and I thought, we, we need to talk about this. We need to, we need to tell people, look, you're, you're dealt a hand of cards in life. And when you are born, you are born into an environment. You are born into a time and place. You are born into a circumstance. You are born into a family that has money or doesn't have money. You are born into parents that are good or bad. You were born in with siblings or not. You were you had you had nothing to do with this. This is a a hand that you were dealt, which when you're very young, you have you don't even understand that. You just think the whole world is like that. Right. But as time rolls on and you get some exposure to the world, you start to realize everybody's not just like me. Everybody doesn't have the same kind of family. Everybody doesn't have the same values and so on and so on. And you're okay with it for a while, but at some point, some people can get into the, wow, I, I, was, I was dealt a very poor hand. And therefore, I, it's okay that I'm not going to really be much or accomplish much or amount to much because I wasn't given a chance. I wasn't given a fair chance. I was dealt a bad hand of cards. So I just want to talk about it. All right. There you go. I like I like the idea of it. Uh, and there's some things that I don't necessarily agree with about it, uh, about that statement, right? And and that's a pretty common statement you see out there. And I've, I've heard others um, in the motivational or, or inspirational field talk about, you know, that dealing with the cards you're dealt. And, and, and it does kind of uh, revolve around that. Um, you know, you don't have to be like everybody else just because of the, you know, where your family comes from and, and so on. You can step outside of that. There's, and there's plenty of stories that, you know, you can find out there of, of folks that came from absolutely nothing and something opened in their mind to allow them to realize the, that there was way more possible out there and that they could go their own way and that they were not, you know, a, a victim of their circumstances or handcuffed by their the history of their family and, and so on. They could go out and do their own thing. Um, and I think um, when, when people do that, and I think it's probably more common than we realize, but ultimately, I, I think you're being dealt a certain amount of cards. And, you know, sometimes it's going to be good. Sometimes it's going to be bad. But just like a game of cards, you know, if you don't like the cards you're being dealt, well, maybe it's time to fold and go to a different table. Okay. You know, um, yeah. because you can change your circumstances. Right. And, and that might be just a move geographically or uh, disconnecting from this group of, group of people that you've been associating with and moving over to a, a different group or, you know, leaving this job because this job's holding you back and you finally figure that out and uh, you move on to a, to a different job yep. and, and uh, something that's more supportive and, and fulfilling for you. And you, you find out that you're actually, you're getting better cards because the dealer at that table is way better than the one over here at this table. Yeah. So you can change your, your circumstances, change the, the inputs and, uh, and change the outputs. And I think that what you're doing is you're playing your cards a certain way. Yeah. And that's, I don't know if you came across this quote when you were preparing, but I did, and it's, I'm going to paraphrase it. It's not, it's not the cards you're dealt that determine your outcome. It's how you play them. Yeah. Amen. And, I, I'd agree to that. Yeah. yeah amen. And so, so what you just said is I got a bad hand. I'm folding. I'm full. I'm, you know, this round ain't going to work out for me. So I'm folding and waiting until the next round or going to another table or metaphorically. I'm, what does that mean in real life? I mean, I'm changing jobs or I am getting um, out of a bad relationship. There you go. Yeah. All of those things are, are possible. That's, that's playing the cards that you can. Yeah. And the nice thing about this, one of the things that I have said before on the podcast, and I'll say again that I love about life is that, first of all, you acknowledge where you are. Every one of us is where we are right at this moment. And I love the visual of pound a stake in the ground right here in this spot. This is where I'm at. Today, at this time, at this place, this is where I'm at. Doesn't matter how you got here. You can't undo it. You are where you are. Right. But what you can do from this moment forward is you can choose to go forward in a better, in a more productive in a more creative, in a new and better way based on all of the lessons learned that you've collected up to this point. And you can make that decision. All of us can make that decision right now to go forward in a new and better way. I love that. I, I really do. I, to me, 
that is one of the most encouraging things that you can actually encounter, and that is I can change the direction I'm headed right this minute. Right. And the outcomes that you're going to have for the rest of your life. That's right. You know, and, and what's happened in your past is absolutely irrelevant. Right. Because um, none of that necessarily dictates how the future is going to be for you. Right. You can decide to make a dramatic change and do something completely different than you've ever done in your past. Go out and in, into a completely different career field. Um, right. You know, what, what do you want to do? What do you care about? Uh, what do you enjoy spending time doing? You know, figure out, you know, you don't like the, the situation you're in, the, the cards you've been dealt and the this current hand you're looking at. Well, you know, throw some of those back, trade them in. Or um, if you're playing that kind of a game, but if not, you know, maybe sign a fold, get up, move to a different table, and, and have a whole new view of the world. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and there's always room for improvement. You yeah. know, you can always make better decisions about moving forward. And um, the, another component of this whole topic is this whole issue of life is not fair. We've talked about that several times. People get stuck in this downward spiral, and they're like, well, I was dealt a bad hand of cards, and that's not fair. That's I I do I I don't deserve this and I should not be held accountable for living a good productive life because right. of the, the the hand that I was dealt to well, start. Stop with. stop manifesting it. Right. Yeah. Right. Man you don't like it manifest something else. Right. Because you actually made the situation that you're in. That's the sad but true fact. The life you're living right now is the life you created in your mind. It is. Absolutely. Yeah. So if you don't like it, it's your damn fault. Right. And the only person that can change it is you. Right. So decide how you want it to be and start thinking about that and putting steps in place to change it into that new existence or that new experience that you want to be having. Yeah. Yeah, and the ways you do that is you make the decision that you're going to improve yourself. You're going to invest in yourself. I have these cards, but I don't have to um, – I don't have to accept this position where I'm at as the way I'm going to start playing the cards. And what, one of the things you can do is make the decision, I'm going to start investing in myself mm -hmm. to make myself better. I'm going to study. I'm going to read. I'm going to take classes. I'm going to go to lectures. I'm going to go to training seminars and improve whatever area of life that I'm choosing to focus on to make it better. Right. And then I can go forward even better than I am right now. Yeah. And I know we've said this before, but this is hugely valuable. One of the biggest things that you can learn that will help you to improve your current situation and your situation moving forward is learning how to say no. No to certain things, no to demands on you that aren't producing positive you know, outcomes in your life. Say no to that stuff. You know, Really focus on what it is that you want to do and what you care about and uh, learn how to say no to the stuff that... Um, doesn't need to be in your life. Yeah. And that might, that stuff might actually be in the form of people. Set some boundaries, yeah. say no, all of that. You bet. Um, <clears throat> I want to mention habits. Have we done a podcast on habits before? I, maybe we have. I can't. That's can't a good remember. question. I don't know if we've done one specifically focused, focused on, on habits where that's the subject, but I know it's come up many times right. about well, the importance of right. You know, good habits. Uh, you know, I, the Aristotle quote that we did, we have talked about that I just remembered. Uh, excellence is not an act. Excellence is a habit. You think about any area of your life, you don't have to do this incredible act and then declare that as excellence. You can chip away at it a little bit through good habits, time after time after time. These small little improvements, you know, establishing these good habits and what happens is you arrive at a point and you go, wow, I, didn't, I had no idea I could ever even do that. Yeah, That's playing your hand well. Establishing good habits in area, every area of your life, professionally, your hobby, your health. You, know, you, you, you keep making these good decisions over and over and over again and turn them into habits. All of a sudden you wake up one day and you realize, oh my, how far I've come in a very yeah. good and positive way. Yeah. You know, I heard, <laughs> I, I love hearing these stories about um, folks that'll tell you, you know, you can, you can do anything you want to do. You can be anything you want to be. And I think there's a lot of truth to that with some limitations. You know, if you're, uh, if you're five foot five and you weigh 105 pounds, the chances of you, unless you can kick the shit out of a football, the chances of you making a team in the NFL are pretty slim. Yep. Right. 
Um, so I think there's some, you know, within reason. Of course. But it's, uh, you know, I, I think that's you know, just that thing that people can grasp is that you, you're you creating the life you're living. The thoughts that you're thinking right now might actually take years to manifest. And you're planting the seeds right now. Right now. Yeah. And if you do, you know, while you're doing that, manifesting that, you you start making those good decisions and start establishing those good habits you're not going to see immediate results. And that's the other thing that people, um, I think, get frustrated and quit because they, they don't see the results that they want straight away, and then they give up. And there's no consistency. There's no yeah. discipline. Yeah, I think I've time. said before, the, that's the universe testing your resolve. Yeah. Right? How bad do you want it? Right. Right. Let's throw a couple of bumps in the road here. Right. You know, see if that's going to be just enough to get you off track and decide that it's not worth it. Yeah. Yeah. There's some great stories out there about folks who have, have wanted to write a book, for example. This is just an example. And they're, they're, they're just over, completely overwhelmed by the idea of, of writing a book. But if you break it down and you say, you know what? If I just write, let's say that I write half a page a day. I don't know how many words that is, but I am going to commit to writing a half a page a day. And you do that every day. I mean, you wake up 400 days later, and you have a wh- book, which is yeah. just a little longer than a year, and you have a 200-page book. I mean, think about that. that and that, that's a good habit you're establishing. That's playing a hand that you've been dealt. Like, I want to write a book, but I'm going to uh, book, write books is only for big, powerful, smart people. No, it's not. I mean, you know it. You've done it. Yeah? Yeah. Anybody can write a book. Doesn't mean anybody's going to read it, right. but anybody, <laughs> but anybody can write a book. No, no. Yeah, and I and I actually I I, I got to throw this out there. Uh, I'm going to dangle this carrot, right? So I actually just had an opportunity to start reading a book called The Power of Awareness, written by a gentleman by the name of Dan Schilling, and uh, had the good fortune to to meet Dan at a conference that I just went to. And man, I tell you, this this book is all about uh, situational awareness and, and you know paying attention to what's going on in your world and around you uh, in real time to keep yourself safe. And it's just, it's, it's a great book. And he's written a, a bunch of uh, different books. One you might be familiar with, Alone at Dawn, which was about the uh, Air Force um, combat controller. Uh, I think it was Tech Sergeant uh, Chapman and the Medal of Honor recipient. Um, and that's a, that's a harrowing story to to watch the video and hear the story about what that guy went through. And there's, they're actually in the middle of making a movie or starting to make a movie about that right now. So that'll be something to watch, but, uh, got a chance to meet Dan and, uh, invited Dan to be a guest on the podcast. So I'm going to stay in contact with him and we're going to make that happen. That would be wonderful. And thank you for, for establishing that relationship. And I look forward to hopefully getting the opportunity to do that. That would be fun. That'd be great fun. Yeah, no doubt. Definitely got some great information and the whole, um, I, I don't want to spoil this, but the whole idea and one of the reasons you should, you should get that book, especially his intent for writing that book, The Power of Awareness, is um, it's for anybody. And at the same time, he really is honing in on people um, that have never had any experience in the military or any kind of you know tactical training, law enforcement training, and so on. Where you know you may already have a a, a really sound um, you know situational awareness skill set, uh, and even if you do there's things in there that'll help you um, hone it even more. But this is this is really kind of for the lay person that's never had any exposure to this at all. Um, women, um, you know, uh, folks that have, you know, just done, you know, things in their life, but not uh, not been involved in situations like that where they might have to really be aware. And and this is, the, you know, the, the sample, or I don't want to say samples, but the um, the rules that he gives you, and, uh, you know, it's just, you can overlay it to, to anybody's life really. And it's, it's, it's cool stuff. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So sort of circling all the way back, if you are suffering from the, if onlys, um, if only I had been dealt a better hand of cards, I would be in much better shape. You got to stop that. Life is not fair. You were dealt what you were dealt And what you can do is make the decision to play that hand of cards to your very best. And there is room for improvement. There's the ability to to take it and use it and master it and use that hand to motivate you, 
establish good habits and um, move on with life in a, in a better way than you were the day before. And again, I love that. I love that opportunity. I love that every day I wake up, I can go, wow, man, I've learned some things and I'm going to keep going forward in a way that I'm better than I was yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, very eloquently said. I'm not going to say it quite that good. Cause what I'm going to say is just stop, stop being a victim of life and stop blaming everything on everybody else except you look in the mirror. You're the problem and you really need to take time to decide, you know, are you okay living the rest of your life as a victim? Or do you want to do it different? And should you decide to do it different, there's lots of things out there that can help you move that forward. First thing you got to do is to decide that you want to make it, yeah. make a different decision. Right. Grab a different choice and stop being that victim. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. All starts right here. Don't like the cards you're dealt. Pick up the damn deck and throw it at the dealer and go somewhere else. There you go. Yep. Get started all over again. Surround yourself with good people, good mentors, folks that are willing to help you make your way forward uh, where you can benefit from from their experience and uh, people who are willing to hold you accountable and keep you on the straight and narrow. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's huge in, uh, in, in that it will keep you on the straight and narrow. And it's also huge in that um, those people will prop you up when uh you betcha. when it gets rough right so um having somebody that'll keep you on the straight and narrow and hold you accountable for things that you said and so on is, is good and it's great to have those people there that are are willing to prop you up and be there when up. things get shitty and uh you know they and can tough uh, yeah 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 i agree there you go so if you don't have friends like that be on the lookout for them manifest them ask Make, for them ask the yeah. universe the universe for them and open yourself to receive right right yeah go find some of those friends right we all need them. yeah yeah absolutely gotta have folks like that in your life thanks for giving me the chance to dig into this just a little bit now you're certainly welcome it's a cool topic yeah and uh, i think you can take it in a bunch of different directions right um and uh focus on you know whatever element speaks to whoever you're dealing with but yeah, um, it's uh, good food for thought. And I'm going to redouble my efforts to play my hand better every single day, and I challenge you to do the same. All right. I will. Mm. I will definitely do that. Okay. Very good. That's all I got. All right. <laughs> so that arm work out there, we changed the microphones around a little bit, so they're not on a stand over here. We're trying to... Do this. I love this. I, I I was conscious to be careful not hit the thing. Yeah, no, no, I'm good. I love this. I love this setup. I don't know if the audience likes it, but I guess like we'll it. find out. Give us your feedback. Yeah. Um, let us know whether you if you're watching this on video and uh, you like the way this looks, or again, you know, just because we accept your feedback doesn't mean we're going to change, but we will certainly take it into consideration. You betcha. Yeah. Love. Betcha. Uh, Love feedback from folks. Love to hear what you're getting out of these uh, conversations that we're having. And uh, we got some folks that are giving us regular feedback, some in, in written format on uh, on YouTube and, and others that uh, that I know personally and, and hang out with and, um, you know, my brothers, people I uh, care deeply about and uh, love hearing from those guys. So good stuff. Good stuff. And subscribe. We love subscribers. Yes, yes, please. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. So you'll get notified when we uh, post new episodes, which is every week on Wednesdays. There you go. All right. That's it. You're good? That's it. I'm good. Nothing else you want to say about nope. the cards you're dealt? I won't lose any sleep tonight because I've said everything I thought was needed to be said. All right. Fair enough. Need some more rum? Nope. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I need to reach over yeah. here. Don't forget to push the button. Hit that little button. And say no matter who you are, where you are, what you're doing, make sure between this podcast and the next, you make time to enjoy, enjoy the ride. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Great Beer Chronicles. Please subscribe so you'll receive notification when new episodes are available. To learn more about the Great Bears, visit their website, graybeardchronicles.com.